the Making My Way is actually one of my favorite examples. It was originally featured, as far as I know, on the soundtrack to a movie called The Associate with uh, Whoopi Goldberg, which is a sort of a business comedy about her trying to ascend, ascend the, the ranks uh, there. And that's where that version of the song performed by Wilna Judd is used. But I think it, in a way it worked better as a Pokemon song just because of some of the lyrics, like, so many times I played in someone else's game. Yeah. That's <laughs> given the source material, the franchise that actually works surprisingly well. Yeah, like, and it fit. It fits Mewtwo, like you know, trying to figure out who oh, he yeah. is in this world and breaking away from Giovanni. It fits Ash on his journey to be a Pokemon master and like trying to break free of the the molds of what a Pokemon master should be. Like, there's so many ways it works. It and there's a lot of songs on here that you know work in a couple different ways, like. Yeah. To be honest, uh, well, the, the two that I think have the weakest ties to, other than, well, Have Some Fun With The Funk I love as a song. Same thing with Free Up Your Mind is is not super well tied. It's a song about music. Soda Pop is an item in the games, and I wonder if that is the main reason it was chosen, other than being, you know, family-friendly and stuff like that and being from Britney Spears. But I would have loved if they had, like, a usable demo of Stronger that they could have uh, put on there. It wasn't the album version was recorded a couple weeks after the movie came out in America, but it would have been really interesting to uh, push that into production or something like that to get it on the movie. I think that would have been a good one for the for the film. Yeah, if we could, that is, that is one song that I would love to be able to get someone to sit down and be like, "So, what was your decision when you came across this one? You're like, that is going on the out. Al- like, hmm." Yeah, you're you're right. That's the only tie, possibly. The other one that, that bugs me a little bit is, I like it as a song, but Get Happy, it, because like one of the first lines is, don't be a brontosaurus, which is obviously not a Pokemon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, like, I like the song just fine, as it is, but... Um... Yes, yeah, Soda Pop and Get Happy are two that are like, you almost just feel like they were chosen for the mood they evoke, like that poppy, fun, like, you know, let's let's have a Pokemon movie and have a good time sort of feel, not because lyrically or or anything else pulls them into the world. Like, they're not horrible choices, but they don't really feel like they were chosen with yeah. the same deliberation. That, that would be interesting, though, if there was, like, if Britney had recorded, like, earlier in 99, a demo of Stronger, and they tried to get that, and they just couldn't work the deal out. That would be a very interesting alternate choice if it was actually possible. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not your property. This stops today or whatever, however that goes. <laughs> she has a couple songs that are, like, lesser known b-sides and that maybe actually would have worked really well for this movie like about like friendship and stuff like that that yeah one of these days i keep wanting to get someone from atlantic who was or who was involved with the track selection and find out what were the songs they turned down yeah um and like what didn't wasn't good enough didn't make the cut or fell through maybe they don't want to get too far into those if there was some nasty mess going around